Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. Obviously we're doing the 100 days to the exams and today there's 92 days to go. So in this video we're going to focus on multiplying fractions and dividing fractions. So if you got the Court Miles Revision cards, cards number 61 and 62, actually you know 61 and 60 would be useful revision cards for you if you're revising uh, multiplying and dividing fractions. And in this video we're going to go through how to multiply fractions and mix numbers. We're going to look at how to divide fractions and mix numbers and then there'll be some for you to try as well. And then also at the end of the video I'll talk about the practice questions which might be quite useful for this topic. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at how to multiply fractions and how to divide fractions. So multiplying fractions is actually quite nice. All we need to do to multiply fractions together is just multiply the numerators and the denominators. So if we had five eighths multiplied by two thirds, we could just multiply the numerators. Five times two is equal to ten. And we can multiply the denominators. Eight times three is equal to twenty-four. So five eighths multiplied by two thirds would be ten twenty-fourths. Now here, if you have a look here, the numerator and the denominator are both even. So we can actually cancel this fraction down. So dividing both of these by two would give us five twelfths. So just make sure whenever you're multiplying fractions that you, make, you check and see if you can cancel down at the end. So 5 eighths multiplied by 2 thirds would be equal to 5 twelfths. And that's it. Okay, now let's have a look and see how we would deal with mixed numbers. I'm thinking back to adding fractions. Whenever we were adding fractions or subtracting fractions with mixed numbers, we turned them into top-heavy fractions. And we're going to use the same technique. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. So 1 on a quarter would be 5 quarters. And remember that if we're dealing with quarters, in a whole there's 4 quarters, and in a 1 will be 5 quarters. And then we've got multiply by 9 tenths. So we've got 5 quarters multiplied by 9 tenths. We now just need to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 5 times 9 is equal to 45 and 4 times 10 is equal to 40. Now if we have a look here, 1 this is top heavy and 2 it can be cancelled down. So let's cancel it down to begin with. Both of these numbers are divisible by 5 so let's divide both of them by 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9 and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So that would be 9 eighths. And in this question we were dealing with mixed numbers so let's change this into a mixed number. So we want to change this into a mixed number so we say how many eighths go into 9? That's 1, remainder 1. So the answer would be 1 or 1 eighth. So if we had 1 on a quarter multiplied by 9 tenths, the answer would be the answer would be 1 and an eighth. And that's it. Okay, so that's how we multiply fractions together. Just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and cancel it down if you can. And likewise, in terms of mixed numbers, we make them top heavy to begin with and then just do the same technique. So here's some for you to try yourself. So pause the video and give these questions a try now yourself. Okay, so in terms of the first one, so let's multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And then in terms of the denominator, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Now we've got 6 twentieths, that can be cancelled down. Dividing the both of those by 2 would give us 3 tenths, and that's it. So 3 quarters multiplied by 2 fifths would be 3 tenths. Okay, now we've got to work out 1 on a quarter multiplied by 2 thirds. So let's make these top heavy fractions to begin with. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5, so it's going to be 5 quarters, and then multiply by. And then we had 2 and 2 thirds, well 2 times 3 is equal to 6, plus 2 is equal to 8, so it's going to be 8 thirds. And just to check that one, if we're dealing with thirds in 2 holes, that's going to be 6 thirds, and another 2 would be 8 thirds. So we've got 5 quarters multiplied by 8 thirds, so let's multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 5 times 8 is equal to 40, and then 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So we've got 40 twelfths. Now this is top heavy and it can be cancelled down. Let's cancel it down to begin with. Both of these numbers, you could half them both. You can, actually, you can actually divide both of the numerator and denominator by 4. So 40 divided by 4 is 10, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So that'll be 10 thirds, and change that into a mixed number, because in the question we were dealing with mixed numbers. How many 3s go into 10? That's going to be 3, remainder 1. So the answer would be 3 and a third. So 1 on a quarter multiplied by 2 and 2 thirds would be 3 and a third. Okay, so we've had a look at multiplying fractions together. Now let's have a look at dividing by a fraction. So if we had something, for instance, like 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths, instead of dividing by 2 fifths, what we would do is we'd multiply by the reciprocal. So we would multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction we're dividing by. And the reason is, if we have a look at something like this, if we had 10 divided by half, and that's saying how many halves are there in 10, well, if we had 10 cakes or 10 holes and you count up how many halves there'd be, there'd be 20. And that'd be the same as if we had 10, and instead of dividing by a half, we multiply by the reciprocal. Now remember the reciprocal is what we get when we flip over a fraction. So if we had a half and we flipped it over, we would get 2 over 1, or 2 over 1 is the same as 2, so you'd have 10 multiplied by 2, and 10 multiplied by 2 is equal to 20. So to divide by a fraction, what you can do is multiply by the reciprocal instead, and that's just a bit easier. So if we had 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths, what we're going to do is we're going to do 3 tenths multiplied by 5 halves, just flipping over the second fraction and multiplying by that reciprocal. 
So we're going to do 3 tenths and multiply it by 5 halves. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15, and 10 times 2 is equal to 20. So 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths would be 15 twentieths. This can be cancelled down. Both of these numbers are divisible by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. So that's 3 quarters. So 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths would be 3 quarters. And that's it. Okay, our next question. So this time we've got a mixed number. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a top heavy fraction and then we're going to do the question like the rest of the dividing fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal. So we've got three eighths divided by, now I'm not changing this to multiply yet. I'm going to make this a top heavy fraction first of all, just to make sure I don't make a mistake. So one and a quarter, well one and a quarter, well we do one times four is equal to four plus one is equal to five. So that'll be five quarters and just remember if we're dealing with quarters in a whole there's four quarters and another one will be five quarters so we had three eighths divided by one and a quarter and we've written that as a top heavy fraction so we've now got three eighths divided by five quarters now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the reciprocal so we're going to keep our so we're going to take our three eighths and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of five quarters and that's what we get when we flip it over so that'll be four fifths now we just need to multiply so three times four is equal to twelve and 8 times 5 is equal to 40. So that would be 12 fortieths. And this can be cancelled down. Both of these numbers are divisible by 4. You could half and half it again if you wanted to. But if we divide both of these by 4, how many 4s go into 12? That's going to be 3. And how many 4s go into 40? That's going to be 10. So that means that 3 eighths divided by 1 on a quarter would be 3 tenths. And that's it. So to divide fractions, what we do is we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction we're dividing by. Okay, let's give you some questions now to try yourself. So here's two questions to try. Can you please work out 7 fifths? tenths divided by three quarters and then work out two and a half divided by one and three fifths so if we were to work out this first one we've got seven fifteenths and instead of dividing by three quarters we're going to multiply by the reciprocal which would be four thirds and then we've got seven times four which is 28 and we've got 15 times three which is equal to 45 so we've got 28 over 45 and that can't be cancelled down so that's it so the answer is 28 40 fifths Okay, in terms of our next question, we had two and a half divided by one and three fifths. Let's make them both top heavy to begin with. So two times two is equal to four plus one is equal to five. So it's going to be five halves. And then we've got divided by, and I'm not changing that yet. I'm going to keep that as divided by, and we've got our one and three fifths. So one times five is equal to five plus three is equal to eight. So we've got eight fifths. So two and a half divided by one and three fifths. If we make them both top heavy fractions, you'd have five halves divided by eight fifths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, instead of dividing by eight fifths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we've got five halves multiplied by, and the reciprocal of eight fifths would be five eighths, just flipping it over. Now if we multiply these together, we've got five times five is equal to 25. And on the denominator, two times eight is equal to 16. So that would be 25 divided by 16. So how many 16s go into 25? That would be 1. And then the remainder would be 9. So that would be 1 and 9 sixteenths. So 2 and a half divided by 1 and 3 fifths would be 1 and 9 sixteenths. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at a wordy question. And feel free to pause the video now to try this question yourself. Okay, so the question says, Olivia feeds her cat two thirds of a can of cat food every day. And we're asked how many cans should she buy to have enough food to feed her cat for 10 days. So she needs two thirds of a can every day. So that's two thirds of a can. And there's 10 days. So we're going to multiply that by 10. And that'll tell us how much cat food she needs. So if we've got two thirds of a can and we're multiplying that by 10, and that's the same as 10 over 1, now we just need to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 2 times 10 is equal to 20, and 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So that'll be 20 thirds. Now that's a top every fraction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that into a mixed number just so it makes a bit more sense in this context. So how many threes go into 20? Well, six threes is 18, so it's going to be six, 18, that's remainder two over three. So the cat would need exactly six and two thirds cans of cat food to feed the cat for 10 days. So that's how much uh, that's how much cat food the cat needs for 10 days, six and two thirds of a can. But the question says, how many cans should she buy? So you can, you're not going to go into shop and buy six and two thirds of a can. So she's going to need to buy seven cans of cat food. So the answer is seven cans. And that's it. And one other thing I want to point out is just how to make sure you know how to type in the fraction and the mixed number button on the calculator. So if you've got a calculator like this, you've got the fraction button here. So this is the fraction button. So you just press that button, you would then get your fraction, and then you could just use the arrows and type in the fraction into the calculator. But if you wanted a mixed number, this thing here, the mixed number, so like for instance, one and a third, in yellow here above the fraction button, you've got this mixed number button. So you press shift and then you press the fraction button and then you would get the mixed number uh, boxes and then you could type in your mixed numbers. So just be careful whenever you type in fractions and mixed numbers, you're making sure that you 
press the fraction button if you want the fraction or if you want the mixed number you're pressing shift and then the fraction button if you've got a calculator like this one here the fraction button is here so you'd press that one for the fraction button and again use the arrows to type in your values and if you want the mixed number here what you do is press shift and then you press the fraction button because just above the fraction button there in yellow you've got the mixed number boxes and that's it and that's it so in this video we've looked at how to multiply fractions so you just multiply the numerators and the denominators and then cancel down if you can at the end also how to multiply mixed numbers make them top heavy to begin with and then multiply the numerators and denominators we've looked at how to divide fractions so that's where we instead of dividing by a fraction we multiply by the reciprocal of what we're dividing by so for instance if we had a quarter divided by three quarters we would do a quarter divided by four thirds you flip over what you're dividing by and then you multiply and then also we've looked at how to divide by by mixed numbers so we make them top heavy fractions and then just do the same as dividing fractions so i really hope you found this video useful the practice questions are in the description below so feel free to try those and keep up the hard work remember to be doing your five a days and to be working hard in class and homework and so on and those five a days are a little enough that approach will really make a big uh, difference in terms of your confidence but i hope you find this video useful and i'll see you tomorrow at three o'clock cheers bye